For this video ay i-discuss natin yung concept at i-derive yung formula ng stresses na nag sa isang 10-volt pressure vessel. Let's start with 10-volt pressure cylinder. Ito yung ilan sa example ng isang 10-volt pressure cylinder, mga storage tanks. And there are two types of stresses developed in 10 volt pressure cylinder. First is the circumferential stress at i-denote natin yung symbol niya as sigma sub c. By definition, it is a normal stress component on a longitudinal section. Sa cylinder, ito yung kanyang circumferential section. At yung circumferential stress daw is yung stress component na nag sa longitudinal section. Circumferential stress is also known as hoop stress or tangential stress. Circumferential stress acts tangent to the surface of the cylinder. Kapag ikinat natin yung cylindrical vessel sa longitudinal section, lilitaw ngayon yung internal stress. At yung internal stress na yon ay yung circumferential stress which acts tangent to the surface of the cylinder. Ito ngayon yung sigma sub C or circumferential stress ng cylinder. And the formula for sigma sub C or circumferential stress is equal to PD over 2T. Where in P is the pressure inside the tank or internal pressure. D is the inside diameter of the vessel. And T is the thickness of the vessel. Next is longitudinal stress. Longitudinal stress is the normal stress component on a transverse section. Kapag kinat natin yung pressure cylinder sa transverse section, yung internal stress na nade-develop sa cylinder is the longitudinal stress. Longitudinal stress acts parallel to the longitudinal axis. This is the sigma sub L or the longitudinal stress of the cylinder which acts parallel to the longitudinal axis of the cylinder. The longitudinal stress of the cylinder given by the formula PD over 4T, wherein P is the pressure inside the cylinder or internal pressure. D is the inside diameter of the cylinder. And T is the thickness of the cylinder. After this ay i-derive naman natin kung paano nakuha yung formula ng circumferential stress and longitudinal stress. Kung magkakaroon ng bursting or pagsabog ng cylinder due to the internal pressure, dalawang stress yung maaring ma-develop, which is the circumferential stress and the longitudinal stress. Based from the definition na diniscuss natin kanina, circumferential stress acts on the longitudinal section of the cylinder. Kapag nagpastro tayo ng cutting plane sa longitudinal section ng cylinder, ito yung ating makikita. Yung section ng cylinder na nakashade ng color green ay nag-generate ng internal resistance para hindi mag-burst or masira yung cylinder. At yung internal resistance na yon ng cylinder is the circumferential stress or sigma sub C. Another force na nag sa cylinder ay yung internal pressure, which is distributed all throughout the area na nakashade ng color blue. Na kung saan alam natin, pressure is equal to force over area. Therefore, F is equal to pressure times area. Anong area yung gagamitin natin? Yung area kung saan nag yung pressure. At dito sa figure natin, yun yung nakashade ng color blue. At kung makikita natin, 
yung area na nakashade ng color blue is a curved surface. And for ease of calculation, ang gagamitin natin ay yung projected area ng curved surface. Ito na ngayon yung gagamitin natin na area, yung nakashade ng color orange. Designate ko lang yan as area 1 kasi meron tayong gagamitin pang ibang area mamaya. Let us denote D as the inside diameter, L is the length, and T is the thickness of the bezel. F is equal to the internal pressure multiplied by area 1. What is the value of area 1? Yun yung nakashade ng color orange and that was equal to D times L. Next is the circumferential stress. Ang formula niya ay equal sa force over area. Makukuha natin yung equivalent concentrated force ng circumferential stress kapag minultiply natin siya sa resisting area. I-denote natin yung concentrated force na to as T. Since T yung symbol na ginamit ko, circumferential stress specifically is equal to T over A. Denote natin yung area ng circumferential stress as area 2. What is the value of area 2? Yun yung nakashade ng color green. Therefore, the value of force T is equal to the circumferential stress multiplied by area 2. Yung area 2 ay yung nakashade ng color green sa figure that was equal to TL. Yung circumferential stress at yung internal pressure ay ikinonvert natin into its equivalent concentrated force. Idrinowing ko lang yung sectional view ng cylinder para mas ma-visualize natin kung anong force na lang yung nag act sa cylinder. Meron tayong dalawang tensile force due to the circumferential stress and force F due to the internal pressure. By applying summation forces horizontal is equal to 0, 2T is equal to F. The value of T is equal to sigma sub C TL and the value of F is equal to the internal pressure P multiplied by DL. Makakancel yung L sa equation or the length of the cylinder. It shows that the length of the cylinder na ina-analyze natin is not significant sa equation. Arranging the equation, sigma sub C is equal to PD over 2T. Katulad ng dinipay natin kanina, P is the internal pressure, D is the inside diameter of the cylinder, and T is the thickness of the cylinder. Next is the longitudinal stress or sigma sub L. Katulad ng idinipine natin kanina, longitudinal stress is the normal stress component on the transverse section. Ito yung transverse section ng cylinder. Kapag hinati natin yung cylinder sa transverse section, makikita natin yung ginegenerate na internal resistance ng cylinder. And that is the longitudinal stress. And we can denote this stress as sigma sub L. Yung sigma sub L ay pwede natin i-convert into its equivalent concentrated force kapag minultiply natin yung stress sa area kung saan nag act yung stress. Sa ang area nag act yung longitudinal stress? Doon sa area na nakashade ng color green. Generally, stress is equal to force over area. Pero dito sa figure natin, yung stress natin is the longitudinal stress and the equivalent concentrated force is T over the shaded area. Denote natin yan as area 1. Katulad ng turo sa atin dati, para makuha natin yung area 1, yung area 1 ay equal sa outside area ng cylinder minus inside area ng cylinder. Or pi d outside squared over 4 minus pi d inside squared over 4. By simplifying, area 1 is equal to pi over 4 d outside squared minus d inside squared. This is the exact formula for the shaded area, pero hindi ito yung area na gagamitin natin. Ang gawin natin ay ilatag yung material na ginamit sa cylinder hanggang sa maging straight siya. Yung length na nasa ibaba ay equal sa internal circumference ng cylinder. Ang formula ng circumference ng circle ay equal sa pi d, Specifically, gawin natin itong pi d inside. At yung nasa labas ay pi 
the outside. And this is equal sa thickness ng cylinder. For simplicity, since the thickness of the cylinder is so small compared to the diameter of the cylinder, the area of the wall is close to pi dt. At ito yung ating area 1. Wherein, D is the inside diameter. This is the established formula for thin wall pressure vessel, kaya ito na yung gagamitin natin, and not the exact formula for the area. Yung pi dt ay nanggaling if we assume that this area is rectangle. Since mas maliit yung length ng pi d inside, yun na yung ginamit for the area of the rectangle. Going back to this formula, T is equal to sigma L multiplied by area 1, wherein area 1 is equal to pi dt. Another force na nag dito sa ating figure is yung force due to the internal pressure. At i-denote natin yun as force F. Pressure is equal to force over area. Meron na tayong area 1, i-denote na lang natin to as area 2. Force F is equal to pressure P multiplied by area 2. Ano yung value ng area 2? Yun yung area kung saan nag yung pressure inside the cylinder. Yung area 2 ay yung area na nakashade ng color pink for the pink ang person. <laughs> area 2 is equal to pi d inside squared or d squared over 4. Force F is equal to pressure P multiplied by area 2, which is pi d squared over 4. Meron lang tayong dalawang force na nag sa vessel, yung force F due to the internal pressure, and force T due to the longitudinal stress. By applying summation forces horizontal is equal to 0, force F is equal to force T. Force F is equal to P pi d squared over 4, and T is equal to sigma L multiplied by pi dt. Maka-cancel out yung pi, yung d, and dito d squared may matitirang d. By arranging the equation, sigma L or the longitudinal stress is equal to pd over 40. And this is the formula for the longitudinal stress. As we defined earlier, P is the internal pressure. D is the inside diameter, and T is the thickness of the bezel. Next is spherical bezel. One of the most common sample of spherical pressure bezel is spherical tanks. Theoretically, a spear would be the best shape of pressure bezel. But unhappily, a spherical shape is tough to manufacture. Therefore, more expensive, so most pressure vessels are cylindrical. Since it's period, kahit sa ang axis tayo magpass through ng cutting section, ay same lang yung stress. At tatawagin natin yung stress na yon as spherical stress. Magpass through lang tayo ng cutting section sa kahit anong axis ng sphere. At itake natin yung section na to for analysis. This is the spherical stress at i-denote natin ng sigma sub s. Yung formula at derivation ng spherical stress ay same lang din ng longitudinal stress. Katulad ng ginawa natin kanina, kinuha natin yung equivalent concentrated force ng spherical stress which is dinenote natin na force T. Generally, stress is equal to force over area. Ang gagamitin natin dito is spherical stress sigma sub s at ang force natin is force T over area. Denote na lang natin to as area 1. Katulad na inexplain natin kanina, area 1 is equal to pi dt. Therefore, force T is equal to sigma S or spherical stress multiplied by area 1 which is equal to pi dt. Another force na nag sa ating spherical vessel is the force due to the internal pressure. At i-denote natin yung force na yon as force F. Katulad din ang inexplain ko kanina, since curved yung surface kung saan nag yung pressure sa spherical vessel, ang area na gagamitin natin is yung projected area kung saan siya nag -aak. By the formula, 
pressure P is equal to force over area. Denote natin to as area 2. Force F is equal to the internal pressure multiplied by area 2. Force F is equal to the internal pressure multiplied by area 2 which is equal to pi d squared over 4. From the figure, we can take summation forces horizontal is equal to 0. Dalawa lang yung force na nag sa ating vessel, which is T and F. T is equal to sigma S pi dt, and F is equal to P pi d squared over 4. Makakancel yung pi, makakancel yung d, since this is d squared, may matitirang isang d. And arranging the equation, the spherical stress is equal to pd over 40. Same lang din yung definition ng mga variables na ginamit natin dito. P is the internal pressure. D is the inside diameter of the spherical vessel. And T is the thickness of the vessel.